Hey guys, welcome back. Now in the last video we talked about our header.html.erv file. In today's video I want you to try to make a partial footer for yourself and pause the video, see what you come up with and we'll take a look at that. But before I show you guys how to make a footer, I want to show you the application.css file. Now two parts of the code that I want you to take note of here is require tree and require self. Require tree does something special. It takes everything in the style sheet, all the files in the style sheet, the SCSS, SCSS files, and bundles them into one file. And the require self would take that one file, which is inside the application CSS, and it will load that file into your browser to bring forth all the styles that you have in that compiled style sheet that is application CSS. So that's the idea behind that. Now, let's get on with it and build our footer. So we would go to layouts, create a new footer, and let's just save this as footer.html.erv. But remember to put an underscore at the end of that file. So we press save to show that it's partial. And what we're going to need here is we're going to need a div. The ID is going to be push. And that's enough for that div. Now we're going to need a footer class. And it's going to give I'm going to give them a class of footer map bar fixed bottom. And that's it for that. Then we're going to give it a div class, and this div class will just have the class container. And these classes are all from Twitter Bootstrap. I'm going to give them a nav tag nested in the div tag. I'm going to give it an unordered list of what's as well. And I'm just going to copy and paste what we have from another file. From what I have from another file, put that in here. And let's just make this look pretty for a while. So tab tab. And since we don't have all these paths, we're just gonna replace them with hash bangs or bangs. I call them bangs or hash marks, whatever you want to call them. So actually, bangs are exclamation points. So we'll just call them hashes. Yeah, that's right. More pound signs. So. We just changed them with pound signs, so to make them links that really are just for show right now because we don't have the paths, we're just going to take them out. Save that there and go to Google and we're going to refresh. And it really showed nothing. Why is that? Well, the thing is, we forgot to add the, the renders in our application.html. So let's just go find our application.html.erb. You can see that it yields a layouts header, but it doesn't actually render the footer. So we need to put that footer in there. So a way to do that, under this div, we're going to do render layouts footer. And that's all there is to it. So if we save that, go back to our browser and refresh, our footer shows up. A little thing that um, you might want to add is you might want to add this little piece of code that I'm just going to paste here. Debug params if Rails is environment is if the Rails environment is development. That pretty much tells you that if you're in development mode, then please just show us all the all the errors that come through. If you're not, then it won't show any errors. That's basically it for that piece of code. Anyways, this is a really short video of how the CSS is actually compiled and how to actually create the footer for our template that we're going to use. So you really can see that the partials, the layouts that we use, they really stay the same through our whole, our whole application. That's why we segregated them out from the, the part of our application, this main body area that is going to change. Anyways, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next episode.